it is how to install the Hal crank sensor on a Mark III AGG ADY or ABF, I think. Yeah, this is an AGG block, so it's a Mark III block. The head is not a Mark III, but the block is, so the crank sensor is as well. I just want to show you the location of it. As you can see, this is the front of the car. This is a Mark II body. So it might be a little bit more different in a Mark III. But anyways, I had to remove the radiator because there's no space for that. And uh, let me show you where the sensor is and what you have to remove to get the sensor out. The sensor is right in there. You can just barely see. Where is it? Right there. Right behind this engine mount. So this is the front engine mount. You have to remove this. I just started removing it. And the sensor is right back there. Right back there. So to get to it and to remove it, you need to remove that cap screw bolt right there. You can see it in there. And to remove that you need to remove the engine mount. Because even if you get out you remove that cap screw. You still have to pull out the sensor and the sensor is 24 millimeters long so it won't pull out between the engine mount and the block so you actually have to remove the engine mount and I'm in the process of doing that and it's going to be out pretty soon this is the engine mount as it sits in the car this is the front it has one single 16 mobile. No. It has this one that goes to the starter. It has another one, a longer one, which goes back here. So these two bolts are right next to each other, and then there's one on top. These two have the threads in the back, and this one has the thread in the front. So the starter mounts on here. These, these, these two bolts right here also mount one also mount through the starter and through the gearbox and uh, yeah I think through the block as well yeah this one goes to the block and the top one goes to the block so you have to remove all three all four of those bolts and then you get to your crank sensor so you have to remove that cap screw and it should be out Okay, so while I'm in here, I'm just going to show you guys the different sensors and why I can only get use this one. Because this is, this is the original. This is a... No, it's actually Siemens. Yeah, I think Siemens is the original manufacturer. And as you can see, this one has been... Uh, basically just used as a hole plug. So the angle of these is actually quite important, as, as I've read. As you can see the bolt angle to the wire angle is the same. There's also a hull effect sensor. You can see this one's still full of oil from being in the block. Uh, it's 24 millimeters deep from this flange to the point of it. This is a VW Golf 4 2 liter. AEG, I think. There's many engine numbers that use the sensor. And I'm pretty sure even the newer Colfs use the sensor. And the 1.8 might just use it as well. Or the VR6 might use this too. And um, this is, I think, also original because it's a Bosch. And, uh, this is a VR sensor, it's not a Hull effect sensor, it is the same depth, this is, this is the replacement uh, sensors box, FAE, cold wagon, what is it, cold wagon, it is the same depth, should be 24, yeah, 24.
and this one should be 24 as well I think you can see that so they both fit in the block but I don't think the angles of the wires actually work out I don't think the angles of the wires work out that well I'm going to try and put this in just to show you guys and to make it educational if you want to change from a Hall effect sensor to a VR sensor so lining up the bolt hole with the, with the sensor if I line up the bolt holes this wire hits against the block right there it hits the block so I can't use the sensor so what I've heard people do is they get the the VR sensor, the aftermarket sensor let's say it looks something like this and then they uh, open up this they cut away from this and they actually pry it up so that it clears the block on the VR sensor and I heard uh, some people use a opal sensor which I think has a better ang wire angle than the Hall effect sensor. I mean, than the Vols Volkswagen, Volkswagen sensor. So yeah, another thing is, this toll was really dirty when I pulled out the sensor the first time. So make sure you clean out around it before you pull out the sensor. You see it lines up. It's not flat against the block yet. There it clicks in. You have to twist it slightly. Almost. And as you can see, there's a little bit of space behind there, behind the wire. Probably can't see it because of the shadow, but there is space. So yeah, that's how you install the Hall effect sensor on a VW AGG ADY. I'll actually overlay the sensor information as well as the part number. Show you that. Siemens France. Oops. Siemens France SM6. And here's the VW Audi. So this is the original sensor. But this is a 0379906433A. So the last letter is the revision. So this is the first revision, and they did make a second revision which is a same number but as a B so yeah that's how you know your sensors and now you know which sensors probably fit and which probably don't fit hope this was helpful if it was and you like VW content like and subscribe I'll probably do a walk around of my car and the setup in a soon coming video peace